there. So today we're going to talk about how to add Calendly to your website as a pop-up button. So you can see if you go to my website that there's this schedule a call button that follows you around throughout the site so that no matter where somebody is on my website, once they decide that they have a question or they want to work with me, they can click to schedule a call and it brings up my calendar here. And so it's really easy to add this, but it's not that intuitive. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it. And so the first thing you do is you will go to Calendly and you'll log on to your Calendly account and it will send you right here to the dashboard. And so the thing we'll need to do is we'll need to get the code from your Calendly account to put it on your website. And the way you get the code is you click this drop down next to your name and you go to share your link, which isn't that intuitive because we don't want a link. We want the embed code to actually put it on your site. But under share your link, there's three options, copy your link, email your link or embed on your website. And that's the one that we want is to embed on our site. So if you click this blue button next to that, it gives you three more options. You could do it in line, and this is how you would actually have a page on your site where your calendar shows up. And I'll show you an example of that. If you go here and then to So you can see that his calendar is actually in line on his website. And so that's the code that you would put into a page that, you know, if you wanted to add a page called schedule a call, you would put that code right there on that actual page. But what we're going to do is we want to put it on the whole website, on every page of the site. So we're going to add a pop-up widget. And what that shows you here is this little button and it turns into the pop-up. And so that's the one we want. Remember, schedule a call, you click it and it turns into this pop-up. So that's the option that we want. The other option here is a text code. And so it would be a line of text on your site that does the pop-up, but we want the, the button or the widget. And so what we'll do here is we will copy this code, this embed code. So copy the whole code and then we'll go to your website. And so you go to your website and you access the header of your site. And so the header of your site puts code onto every single page of your site. And so once, so this is a 20 over 10 website and you can go to all the way to the bottom to advanced and you click this open and it has header code inject. And all of the websites are gonna have slightly different names of what they call this, but as long as you see the word header, you'll know you're in the right place. So we'll pop this out and then what we'll do is we'll just paste in the code and you can see Calendly badge widget begin and then it has all this information and it has a link to Jim David's site to his Calendly link there and so it'll pull up his calendar. We'll click save and then we can close this and then we'll hit publish And then we'll hit publish again. There's a few steps to make it publish. And here you can see that on his website, there is this button. And so when we go to his main homepage here, you'll see this button and it should be on all of the pages of his site. Yep, and there it is. It's on every page of his site, which is great. Um, if you only were to put that code on your homepage, it would only show up on your homepage, but we want it to show up on all the pages of his site, even his blog, his contact page. And so we've accomplished that. Um, sometimes I get a question, how do you remove Powered by Calendly? And that's by having a paid Calendly account. I think it's $8 a month, uh, but that's an option for you if you want a button like this that just says schedule a call that doesn't have any branding information on it. So that is how you add a widget or a pop-up button for your calendar to all of the pages on your website. Thank you for watching.